Snailfish, 3D printed skin, and a light load of laundry. This is five science stories for you in three minutes or less. No time to waste, let's get started. You like snails, you like fish, now get ready for a new type of snailfish. Scientists describe three new flavors of snailfish. Bumpy, sleek, and dark. The bumpy snailfish is stealing the show by looking like that. Look at him, I love him. One of the things that's remarkable is that we found two of these new species in one of the better explored parts of the deep ocean, hinting at just how much more of the ocean we have to explore. Two new technologies could change medicine for burn victims. Skin is a complicated organ, and skin grafts are a common treatment for burns or other major skin loss. One new technology prints fibroblasts in high density, which are cells that produce dermal components such as collagen and elastin. Tests on mice show that the bodies received the transplant and kept the cells alive to keep rebuilding tissue. The other technology lays filament in artificial tissue, which can later be dissolved, leaving artificial blood vessels. Together, we can print living skin tissue and ensure it gets the blood flow necessary to keep the cells healthy. This isn't used clinically yet, but it's a promising start to developing new treatments. We have a new explanation for an ancient mystery. Only a fraction of a percentage of dinosaurs ever get fossilized, but two baby pterosaurs named Lucky and Lucky 2 were perfectly preserved 150 million years ago. Unfortunately, they probably weren't so lucky. Both of them had fractured wings seemingly from a twisting force, not a collision. More curious, the Solnofen limestones in Germany, in which they were found, have many more well-preserved fossils of almost exclusively small young pterosaurs. This new study offers a potential explanation for that. Tropical storms. Violent storms would disproportionately injure and kill young flying dinosaurs. It would also stir up sediment in the lagoon below to quickly bury and fossilize them. Older pterosaurs would be more durable and less likely to die and become fossilized. This is an exciting discovery because it's really rare to get insights into ancient weather events like this. A new study found that you can remove stains with nothing more than light. Oxidation happens when electrons are removed from a compound, and a lot of stain removers like OxyClean will use oxidation to break down the colored compounds and stains. Chemical cleaners don't use oxygen to oxidize, but oxygen is a very reactive element, and you may notice that there's oxygen in the air. Turns out that simply shining a high-intensity blue LED on fabric stains does a better job of returning them to white than bleach. The study tested this on sweat stains and on orange and tomato stains. Just like sun bleaching can lighten your hair or your car's paint job, the blue LED helps oxygen in the air react with stains and remove its color. And finally, some bad space news. NASA has two satellites that are the only of their kind monitoring CO2 in our atmosphere. Aside from giving us data that's literally irreplaceable to monitor the effects of CO2 on our planet, it has also unexpectedly allowed us to pinpoint sources of high CO2 emissions and track the planet's photosynthesis throughout crop seasons. Now the US government wants NASA to shut down these satellites to save on a few pennies in the budget. This is bad for science, the US, and the world. Read more at the article linked below, and please contact your representatives to urge them to oppose this. And that's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.